Hi guys, this is Scott and I wanted to answer this question that came up about load balancers. The interface is quite confusing. So I've created a load balancer and I have a couple of virtual machines in an availability set. And I go to backend pools and I say add and I can give it a new backend pool. Um, and you would think, okay, great. I'm just going to add my availability set. I'm going to say there's two virtual machines there. And you might be tempted just to say, okay, I'm going to do that. And it's going to say, okay, great. It's creating a new backend pool. And then when you go and refresh it, you'll notice that there's nothing inside. So it's a backend pool with no contents. And it's like, why didn't that work? Uh, you actually have to go a, a step further and like I said the interface does not seem um, great for this so you choose the availability set you choose the you know the availability set you want and you have to say uh, add a target network IP configuration and this is where uh, you can choose your um, servers one and two okay now now when we click save then well, delete the third one now when we click save You've chosen the availability set and you can choose which machines within the availability set get added to the pool then when I clean out to here and it's uh, saving it's added one virtual machine and it's still doing some work here does take some time I guess and there we go so you actually have to go that step further say add target IP and then add those machines and what you end up with is your backend pool that contains those two virtual machines okay so unfortunately yeah backend pools is a little bit uh, more complicated than just choosing the availability set